Hello everyone, the story I'm going to share today is Bronze Mirror was the keepsake for reunion. In 581, Emperor Wen of the Sui Dynasty, Yang Jian, unified the North and established Sui Dynasty. Yang Jian's ambition made him determined to unify China. Therefore, in 589, he raised his troops to the south and swiftly overthrew the Southern Dynasty. And the last Emperor Chen Shuba was captured alive. All the royal families were sent to Chang'an, the capital of the Sui Dynasty. Princess Le Chang was naturally among the prisoners. It was this talented and beautiful Princess Le Chang who has left an intriguing story that has been kept alive for the world for more than a thousand years. Princess Le Chang was well known far and wide for her beauty and intelligence. She was born to this noble family, and everyone in the imperial court knew that she was very kind and gentle. For choosing her husband, talented Princess Le Chang also had her own vision. She did not care about marrying someone from wealthy and noble family. She only cared about a man's talents. So she had fallen in love with Crown Prince's secretary, Xu Deyuan. She was famous for his talents, and his grandfather was famous poet Xu Ling. After they got married, because of his intelligence, Xu Deyuan was promoted to a position of minister working for the emperor in the imperial court. The couple respected and loved each other. They were known as the perfect couples at that time. Not long after they married, the situation became chaotic, and before Sui regime occupied Chen Dynasty in the south, Xu Deyuan said to his wife, When the nest overturns, no egg remains intact. That means if our country is destroyed, none of us would escape, and we definitely will be separated. For your beauty and intelligence, you will be definitely be taken to the Sui Imperial Court. If our predestined relationship is not ended, we will reunion in the future. We should leave a keepsake to each other, which will be a proof at that time. Then Xi Duyuan split valued the bronze mirror into two parts. Then he continued, In case we separate it unexpectedly, you will sell the half of the mirror in the market of Chang'an city. On the 15th of the first month, Lantern Festival, each year, if I were still alive, I would come to the market of Chang'an city on the same day to look for you. The mirror becomes round again is the time of our reunion. With tears in her eyes, Princess Le Chang nodded her head. Then she put half of the mirror in her bag. And surprisingly, Yang Jian, the Emperor of Sui, led his army attacking the south, and soon Chen country was destroyed. Xu Deyuan escaped, and all other imperial court members including Emperor Shu Bao and Princess Le Chang were captured. They were all escorted to Chang'an city, Sui capital in the north. Wandering around and endured humiliation at that time, when the situation became a little better, Xu Deyuan took the half copper mirror to Chang'an to look for his wife. After the imperial family of Chen country was taken to Chang'an thousands of miles away, Xu Bao and his concubines were jailed. All the maidens were forced to work in a Sui court. The beautiful ones would be married to the generals and ministers of Sui dynasty. Emperor Wen of Sui granted Princess Le Chang to his prime minister, Yang Su who was a commander-in-chief for Sui army. Emperor Wen of Sui unified China. Yang Su's contribution was arranged in the first place. He looked handsome and talented, both civil and military. After getting married with Princess Le Chang, Yang Su loved her very much and specially built a mansion for her. But Princess Le Chang was very depressed 
and was not happy at all. Although she was in the north, but her heart was still in the south with Shi De Yuan. She did not forget the appointment with her ex-husband on the day of Lantern Festival. Then she asked the old servant, taking half of the bronze mirror, to go to the market of Chang'an City to sell. The servant shouted loudly to sell the mirror, but only a few people asked for it. When hearing the price was very high, they just gave up. The second year, on the day of Lantern Festival, the old servant went there again. This time, she brought back another half of the mirror with a sad poem. It turned out that when the old servant was selling the mirror in the market, and Shi Du Yuan came, he learned everything about the Princess Le Chang from the old servant. Then he took out another half of the mirror, which was exactly the other half of the whole mirror, and gave it to the old servant. Princess Le Chang saw the other half of the mirror and read a poem wrote by Shi De Yuan. Tears were rolling down her cheeks. She was so sad and could not eat anything. Yang Su saw it and asked her what made her so sad. She eventually told him all about. Yang Su asked her if she would like to go back to her ex-husband. She said, you are so good to me, I cannot simply leave you like this. But my ex-husband loved me so much. He phoned me according to our appointment. I cannot bear to endure to separate from him. Xu De Yuan was both happy and sad. He was happy because he found his ex-wife. He was sad because he was too far from her. And although the mirrors came together, but not the loved ones. Out of his expectation, soon the Prime Minister sent him an invitation to invite him for dinner at his house. Xu De Yuan came in a plain clothes but with complicated hair. They prepared a rich banquet with VIP hospitality. The three Prime Minister treated a minister of destroyed Chen County, but a princess was on her side as Yang Su's favorite concubine. Seeing his loved one became others' concubine, Xu De Yuan was too sad to talk. Because she married again, so the princess asked her ex-husband also to marry again. But Xu De Yuan said, I am already satisfied that I can see you again. I am determined not to marry this life, and I will return back to the south to be a monk in a temple for the rest of my life. Seeing this, he could not help in tears again, and the princess was also in tears. Facing the situation, Yang Su knew that he kept the princess's body, but could not keep her heart. Looking at the two truly loved each other, Yang Su decided to return princess to Xu De Yuan. Soon Yang Su returned princess to Xu De Yuan and arranged them to live in Chang'an city also granted Yang Su an official position in Sui Court. The couple thanked Yang Su again and again, but they did not want to stay in a large city and to be official in the court. They would like to return to the south and live as other common people. With the help of Yang Su, the local government returned the property to Xu and the princess, so they were happily settled down in the south. More people heard them, they came for a visit every day, but they did not want to be interrupted. Later, they went to Suzhou to live in a reclusive life. In order to avoid the noise of human society, they bought a boat and took a boat as their home. Although drifting here and there, they happily shared the same pains and satisfactions together. Yang Su's kindness made him more successful in his career, and he lived a very happy life until he left the world. Thank you very much for listening to the story. More touching stories will be ready for you if you just subscribe it. Thank you again.